Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here. Let's get the party started. You're gonna need to have downloaded the Outrun Coast to Coast setup.exe. There's a screenshot here that may help you get a hold of that, but I can't tell you exactly where to get it. On the other side, we're gonna go ahead and split Dolphin. If you haven't seen it in split mode, just hit split up there. And on the right, we're gonna put our Compat Data folder. Now you probably don't have Compat Data under places because you didn't watch my awesome Dolphin Tricks and Tips video. But either way, you need to be able to get to that Compat Data in order to do this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get Steam up here. We're gonna add a game. We'll add a non-Steam game. Hit Browse. Go to your downloads, grab that setup EXE. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, and we'll verify and hit add program. Open up the library and search for Outrun. There should probably only be one entry. That's the one we just created. Go to the gear and let's go to properties, compatibility, and we're gonna say Proton 9.0-2. Probably any Proton 9 point something will probably work, um, but for now I know this version works, so let's stick with it. Now we are ready to hit play. This will start the install happening into a Proton prefix. Now all non-Steam games are put in random number Proton prefixes, so yours isn't gonna be the same as mine, but don't worry about it. Go ahead and click your way through. This will install the entire game inside the Proton prefix. So if you remove this entry, it's gonna take the game with it, your saves and everything else. Give it a moment to finish its job. and hit finish. All right, so we got a couple more things we need to do here. First off, go over to your compat data and look and sort by modify. You should see something that was created just now. Your number's not gonna match mine. Drill into prefix, drive C, games inside the outrun folder, and we are looking for a couple of files. There's our exe file, but before we do that, Let's go ahead and grab the tweaks before we start doing anything else. So go to the page, the link will be in the description below. You're gonna grab this tweaks file and save it to your downloads. Very fast, pretty quick. Right click and of course extract it. And inside the folder are three files. You're gonna grab those three files, left drag them over here and hit copy. Make sure that you apply to all and overwrite. Perfect. All right, so now we're sort of done with that. Actually, we could get rid of all three of these files if we wanted to. Over on this side, though, we're gonna look for the Outrun INI. We're gonna open that with Kate. Over here, you see a default width, set that to 1280. And if you're going to be playing this on an external monitor, set it to 720. I am on an external monitor. If you set it to 800, bad things will happen and I'll show you why. However, if you're only gonna play it on the deck as a handheld, you can set that to 800. Anti-aliasing set to three, and you're good. Make sure you save it, and we can close out. Now, grab the exe file, the main exe file, right-click it and select copy location. It's time for us to set up our Steam Launcher to go ahead and run that instead of the setup file. Back into Steam we go, we find our outrun, we go to the gear, we select properties, and we're gonna paste it in here. Paste that whole path in there. We're gonna put double quotes on the front and at the end, because it has to be double quotes. I'm gonna rename this real quick, it's bothering me, all right? Now grab your entire target, copy it to the clipboard and paste it and start in. Then erase the exe file at the end of it. Basically saying which exe to run and where to start it. Finally, we're gonna paste in this DLL override into the launch options. Again, available in the description below. Paste that in, that's gonna make sure that it retargets the direct input X DLL necessary to invoke the tweaks. Not too hard, right? This was a pretty easy guy. And we are ready to return to gaming mode and let's run the game, make sure it works. 
Now, because this is going again through an external capture card and it's at 720, it's gonna look a little stretched. That's to be expected. Let's just make sure it actually boots all the way first, shall we? It's looking pretty good though. Okay, I think we can safely say that it works okay. Now, if you try to change it to 800, 1280 by 800, you're gonna get this error if you're connected to an external device. You'll have to go in and change it back to 720. But since we're at 800, I might as well unplug the deck, get a little uh, camera feed edition here. You can see the game is playing just fine. Looks great, plays great. That little white line you're seeing on the right and top that only happens in demo mode when you start playing it, it's not really there. And that's it. Listen, I hope you like what you saw. If you did, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. And of course, while you're here, check out these other great Monroe World videos. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody.